Welcome to Naresai Technologies. Uh, this is Ram Chandar. In the last video, I did talk about uh, what is object oriented programming system approach and uh, what is class and what is object and what are the characteristics do we have related to object and uh, especially I did highlighting in the last video related to what uh, properties. Whenever I was talk about uh, properties, I mentioned two things. One is properties providing the memory and also which is used to holding the data. Basically, properties are providing the memory with the support of what uh, data types. And also I did talk about uh, what is data type and uh, three uses of the data types. One is it is used to differentiate one value to another value simply we can say type of data and the second one is I did talk about uh, operations like uh, addition concatenation sometimes we are facing the problem like uh, compiled MRS and uh, and also I did talk about one more thing like what output. Now in this video especially I am going to talk about uh, 4 and 5th point related to data types. What is the fourth point? The fourth point is data types provides memories. Data type provides what here? A uh, memories. So mainly here I am going to be highlighting the classification of the data types. The classification of data types. Mainly we have two types of data types. One is primitive, primitive data types. Another one is a referenced data type. Another one is referenced data types. Under the primitive data types, again we have two types. One is numerical data types. Numerical data types. Another one is non-numerical data types. Under the numerical, again four types or two types. One is integral and one is a floating point. Under the integral, we have four types. Four types. One is the byte, short. Another one is what int. Another one is long. Four types. And under the floating types, we have two types again. Under the what floating point? What is that float? Another one is what double. In the same manner. Fight byte provides byte provides or under the reference data type we have especially five types array type another one is class another one is interface and enum and annotations totally five types we have uh, reference data types so now all these data types provides some memories like one byte of memory now here I am taking one different color for memory purpose one byte here short providing two bytes into providing four bytes long providing what eight bytes of data yeah eight bytes of data now as usual float providing four bytes of uh, memory and double provides eight bytes of memory and again under the data types we have one more type non numerical so basically uh, this is a topic related to numerical yes let me write the diagram in the proper manner yes good numerical two types integral and a floating point under the non numerical we have two types one is what care and the one is what boolean one is care and the one is what boolean like this we have different data types in java language one is a primitive and the one is what referenced again under the primitive we have two types numeric as well as what non numeric again numeric two types integral as well as what floating point Again, integral we have four types, and uh, uh, 
floating point two types and non numerical we have what uh, two types as usual under the reference type we have especially five parts these are the main classification of uh, our data types these are the main classifications yes float as well as double now here array we have as well as class as well as interface as well as enum as well as what here annotations this is uh, a main classification of uh, data types now i told you like fourth point data types provides memory see bytes will provide one byte of memory short will provide two bytes of memory int provide four long eight float four uh, double eight and a char two so like this data is providing uh, different types of memory here one more point i'm going to be highlighting and the fifth one is what proper memory management memory management so what is the meaning of this one what is the proper memory management so one more, one more way to uh, i'm highlighting this discussion maybe interviewer ask like why all the technologies are supported different types of data types uh, different types of uh, data types like byte short int long float double for example uh, if i am taking one value like 10 if i am taking one value like 10 this value 10 i can represent with the help of i can represent with the help of byte as well as short as well as int as well as what uh, long as well as double as well as float as well as char so one value i have a seven ways to represent why what is the reason behind that the reason behind this is what proper memory management why c c plus plus dot net and java uses multiple data types instead of uh, one or two the reason is proper memory management for example if i'm writing like byte b equal to 100 or simply byte b equal to 10 so how the data is going to be placed into the memory with the support of uh, bits organization now i have one so byte will providing eight bytes of memory nothing but totally eight bits of memory so four as well as what five six as well as what uh, seven one two three four five six seven eight so totally byte will provide one byte of memory nothing but eight bits of uh, data so what is the meaning of bit what is the meaning of uh, bit a smallest memory location a smallest memory location which holds which holds uh, exactly one electronic pulse one electronic uh, pulse nothing but what uh, either 0 or 1 either 0 or 1 so bit is the smallest memory location which is going to be hold one electronic pulse so here this is one one square bracket it is visible now that is what your one bit what it is this bit is going to be do it is exactly holding what your value like uh, 1 and uh, 0 as well as what uh, 1 as well as 0 so 10 binary format is what here 1010 zero, zero. i think no need to explain like uh, how to converting 10 to binary format by 2 whatever the remainder which we are getting that remainder we need to place at what here uh, right side now remaining everything will be filled with what here zeros only this is 0 and this is 0 and this is 0 and uh, this is 0 last bit always represents what here sign bit nothing but four bits i'm using for data representation and one bit uh, one bit is used for what here sign representation so here how many bits are some wasted totally three bits the same 10 value if i'm represent with the support of uh, double then what happen then what happen double will provides eight bytes of memory eight bytes of memory is nothing but totally 64 bits of memory totally how many are 64 bits of uh, memory then observe guys 
the same concept I'll just me let me copy and paste here and after that so totally 64 bits will come this is red color let me change the color itself yeah so like this from 0 to from 0 to 63 this is what here 63 and so on some digits go on go on this is what here uh, 3 this is assume like uh, 3 this is the what 2 this is the what 1 and this is what here 0 now so totally 0 to 63 nothing but we can also calculate 1 to 64 not a problem here now in this particular time what happened observe this is my one value like uh, 0 this is the last bit assume yes remaining all uh, bits is going to be filled with what here 0 zeros only all are filled with uh, zeros only now observe here first four bits first four bits I am using for data representation data representation these are okay these four bits I am using for data representation and last one is used for what here bit representation then how many bits of memory I am wasted unnecessarily in this particular scenario totally totally I am wasted 59 bits of uh, memory totally I am wasted 59 bits wasting and I am using only 5 bits I am using only 5 bits but 59 bits are what here wasted if you are representing 10 value with the help of the byte how many bits of memory I am wasted totally 3 bits of memory I wasted totally how many bits 3 bits of memory I am wasted totally here I am wasted how many bits of memory 3 bits of memory the same 10 value if you represent with the help of the double how many bits of memory I am wasted totally 59 bits of memory wasted so if you want to represent small value we should uh, choose small range of data type if the value is a uh, big then we need to choose what here use range of the data type understand or not so here only one point how data types providing the proper memory management means with the help of uh, different type of data types uh, byte one one byte short two bytes uh, int four bytes uh, double eight bytes uh. so based on your number size we need to choose what here different types of data type if your number is small better to choose small data type if your number is big one better to choose what here higher range data type so with the help of the different data types we can maintaining what here proper memory management if you are using the memory in proper manner definitely that will be affected to your performance of an application so totally i did talk about uh, five things related to data types one is it will talks about uh, uh, it will uh, differentiate one value to another value nothing but it will talks about uh, types of data and the second one is what your operations like addition operation concatenation operation this type of uh, operations will do on top of the data types data types means what your on top of some data and it is also talks about what your output string plus string anything plus string string plus anything int plus boolean so what type of output we are getting that information is also talks about data type and the fourth one is data types providing what your different types of memories here one by two by three bits like that and not only data is providing the memory but also maintaining what your proper memory management how we can maintaining proper memory management in our application with the help of uh, different data types uh, here what is the meaning of different data types he is if it is a small data type better to choose if it is a small value better to choose what here small data type if it is a big value better to choose what here big data types uh, understand or not so so this is what exactly information related to data type in the next video I am going to be talking about uh, the exact information related to properties I hope you enjoyed this video in the for more uh, videos please subscribe to channel thank you